All right, guys, it's Friday. I'm here at the gym. Uh, man, my little dude didn't come with me today. He wanted to, uh, but he's actually pretty worn out. To hear him explain it, basically he came here with me Wednesday, uh, Thursday, yesterday he went to his gym for an hour and a half on the rower, uh, and then that would put him coming back here today, and he was a little sore from training yesterday, not from training with me on Wednesday, but from rowing on uh, Thursday, that would put him here on Friday, and then tomorrow morning at 7.30 in the morning, he's out on the lake rowing. So that would be several days in a row uh, of him just brutalizing himself, in his words, so I'm here, I've got some things I wanna work on. Mostly it's still an accessory day. I want to continue to build my overhead press through accessories. Uh, lots of stuff that I'm weak at. So I do wanna do all of my uh, warm up, rotator cuffs, uh, shoulder warm up exercises here uh, to start everything off. Some dumbbell presses in the back. And I do wanna work on some ideas I've got for the bench press. Um, I had an idea for the incline press. We'll see if we get there. And then I had an idea for some kind of accessory squat, squat accessory uh, to finish everything off. And obviously some more abs work. My back does feel better. I did find some trigger points up and through my hip and hamstring and through my tailbone. Uh, I had a pretty big breakthrough on that Wednesday night as well as all day Thursday. Um, I don't feel amazing, but I feel much improved. Uh, everything still through that right hip that has a lot of our arthritis in it so uh, got, I've got my Easton machine on it right now it's in a funny spot you don't want to see or maybe you do maybe you do and that's okay uh, but in the meantime I'm gonna get warmed up I'm gonna get moving and uh, see if I can make some progress today guys so enjoy the video So yeah, those Arnold presses are pretty tough. Uh, I haven't done those in years. Having any kind of shoulder pressing with dumbbells in at least a month, I was making solid progress. Missed a lot of training sessions, had some pain, haven't been able to do them. Uh, but that three sets of five absolutely killed me. I think more people should do these, especially all those people on the internet who post videos of them doing basically an incline bench and calling it a shoulder press. Um, and I understand where you're coming from, but if it's a shoulder press, you should be able to do an Arnold press with it. If you try to rotate that, what you're calling a shoulder press, if you take that incline bench press, incline dumbbell press, and try to rotate that in front of you, uh, you're gonna rip something out of the joint. It's gonna be really, really hard. So uh, these are a great, great exercise. Um, man, wearing me out. Something great to do every once in a while, especially when you're first starting back in the shoulder press and get those shoulders absolutely fried with some lighter weights uh, before you start throwing on the weight on these. So, man, they're just continually getting more and more pumped. Uh, I'm gonna take a couple minute break, break out the gun, massage these shoulders, and uh, then do some bench press.
Guys, that was a big Friday right here. Uh, man, I, I, I want to say nothing but the basics, but I did a lot of stuff today. Look at the board, all of my shoulder stuff, the, the prehab, the pre-exhaust, the laterals, the Arnold presses, uh, onto the bench. It was a double wave on the bench. Uh, first wave was with the bands. 
Um, a lot of accommodating resistance, uh, keeping the tension tight, removing the bands, and I could actually feel the bar whipping uh, with 185 pounds on the bar. Um, that was pretty wild, worked up, felt really good. Right pec is continuing to get tight, but that's okay. I did a bunch of work, worked the area, uh, continue to make improvements long term. Set up the PVC bar and uh, hung some weights. It's extremely light, it's extremely easy, but towards the end of the sets, uh, my chest, especially my upper pecs, uh, and my shoulders are being extremely taxed in a very good way. I will probably keep a similar weight and just change the band tension. If I increase the band tension, the weights will not bounce as much, then I can slowly increase the weight. Not that that PVC bar needs any extra weight. May have to rethink that just a little bit, uh, but definitely a keeper. And as I figure out how to set it up faster, it won't take as much time to set up and tear down here in the gym. Finished off with some biceps, triceps, and lats. Get some blood in the area, get everything moving, get everything rocking and ready to go. Oh, I did the little uh, Viking squat um, power stair as well. That felt quite nice, lit my glutes up. Uh, a little bit of quads, lower quads, a whole lot of glutes, um, a lot of mid upper back as well. That's definitely a keeper. I don't know how hard I can push those uh, because it's gonna stress the back a lot, the upper mid back, which, hey, I need to build that area. It's a great thing for stones and deadlifts, sandbags, carrying your kids, everything. Um, so solid training session. I'm gonna head home and do a bunch of abs. <coughs> Woo! Drink a bunch of water and a uh, bunch of mobility work in the floor with my kids. Eat a bunch of food, rest and recover on Saturday. We'll see you guys on Sunday. Have a good one.